Still no verdict tonight after another day of jury deliberation in one of the most closely watched trials in the country. 18-year-old Kyle Rittenhouse charged with killing two men and injuring a third during a night of unrest in Kenosha, Wisconsin, over the police shooting of Jacob Blake, who was left paralyzed from the waist down. The jury will be back for a fourth day tomorrow. News Nation correspondent Kelly Beeson is in Kenosha for us tonight. Kelly, even without a verdict, still a lot happening today. Certainly a lot of news happening here, Marnie, including the judge banning a media network from the courtroom. It happened as the jury was deliberating earlier today. Day three of jury deliberations in the trial of Kyle Rittenhouse drawing a modest crowd of protesters. Tensions flaring at times. At one point, a man with a gun is taken into custody. Law enforcement making their presence known outside of the courthouse with a peace offering of cookies and coffee. Hey, so everybody, we're here, we're supporting, we're here to protect, we're, we're, uh, we're all part of the same team here today. Inside, the judge barring a media network from re-entry. I have instructed that no one from MSNBC News will be permitted in this building. For the duration of this trial. The move coming after a freelancer came close to a bus carrying the jury. Kenosha police saying they suspected the person involved was attempting to take photographs. Uh, this is a very serious matter, and I don't know what the ultimate truth of it is, but absolutely it, it, it would go without much thinking that someone who is following a, the jury bus, uh, that is a very it's extremely serious matter and uh, will be referred to the uh, proper authorities for further action. Shortly after, a statement was released reading in part, the freelancer never contacted or intended to contact the jurors during deliberations and never photographed or intended to photograph them. We regret the incident and will fully cooperate with the authorities on any investigation. Heading into day four of deliberations, a spokesperson for the Rittenhouse family weighing in. I would say that the jury is being thoughtful right now in their decision making. Saying Kyle Rittenhouse himself is remaining calm. He's a strong kid. He's empathetic. He's caring. He wanted to take the stand and he's remaining optimistic. The jury has now spent more than 20 hours weighing two weeks of testimony. They'll reconvene here tomorrow at 9 a.m. Marnie. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.